American audiences, even if you knew the story of Hiroshima, this is definitely a different take. It's an uplifting story about Hiroshima, which is rare. Well, the inspiration for this film, pictures from Hiroshima schoolyard, is the seeing the pictures themselves and knowing where they came from. Knowing that these were drawn by children who lived in rubble that was Hiroshima after the bomb and rubble, a horrible environment. Their playground is a concrete building with puddles of water and corpses floating in the basement and rats everywhere. And knowing that these beautiful pictures, happy pictures, pictures of kites flying, pictures of kids playing, pi pictures of playgrounds that did not exist, that's the inspiration for telling the story. This story is important because it tells people that peace is always possible no matter what, even after such a horrendous event. No matter what happens in any conflict, you can always come back. So what I want from the viewers is just to understand and realize that, and hopefully move forward with that information. So yes, I would love to stop war with this film, <laughs> but mostly I would like people to know you can always come back, even if, if you're seeing this film after some event that you think you cannot get past, you can. Here they are. I'm Brian Reichart, director of the feature film Pictures from a Hiroshima Schoolyard, and you can watch it here on Documentary Showcase. <laughs>